Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Right now, I'm joining Theme Park Tycoon 2, and I just so I because I just saw some I just saw uh, I was looking through Theme Park Tycoon 2 YouTubers and looking for different videos I could watch. Then I found one by Malibu. I found a video by Malibu. And the front picture of it was, it said things I want in Theme Park Tycoon 2, right? And the front picture of it was Tilt Tracks. And now, Tilt Tracks, or Tilt Coaster, I should say not Tilt Tracks. Why Tilt Tracks? I don't know. I don't know what it's called, but, like, Vacoma's making a brand new Tilt Coaster. But basically, the track goes, like, watch my hand, it goes, like, aims downwards, drops you, and goes down. Aims down. So you try moves, aims downwards, drops you down. And I mean, I do really want the empty park that I can too, but I want switch tracks a bit more. But I found a way. Well, I don't know if it works or not. But I think I know a way that you can actually make a working tilt coaster. Now, basically, you can get any coaster for this, but the coaster you use has to have something called, um, has to have something called hold brakes before drop. If the coaster has a hold break, basically look, I'm gonna show you something. This Junior Wild Mouse Junior Coaster and Wild Mouse Coaster and some of those coasters, they don't have um, hold brakes. Basically hold brakes are brakes, but they hold you there for a certain amount of seconds and then they drop you. It's what they use on dive coasters. Basically on a dive coaster, it holds you above the drop drops you straight like it you come here you hold you and drop you straight down right but in this case a hold a tilt track goes like that you're you're already on a hold break when it tilts forward so you're on a hold break and it drops you but we can't do the tilt forward part but we can replicate what it's gonna feel like to do the tilt forward part basically here i for this i'm gonna be using the multi-launch coaster because that this coaster actually does have, um, well, whatever you call it. But here, I'm going to put it up in the air right here. So I am going to, now, so just make it go, make it go, like, forward in here. And basically, we're going to build a building around this. And I'll show you why in a second. So, camera keeps breaking, so I just have to use my phone to film and stuff. Basically do that and then do the angle you want your tilt track to be, whatever it's called. I'm going to have mine around this angle. Then what you're going to do, go here and to advance that, go normal here. You click on this, change the track piece to not block brakes, hold brakes. Um, and this one here says before drop, but just a hold brake. Boom, hold brakes. Make it as long as you want, as short as you want, but you have hold breaks. If you just place them right, um, just do that, and then add add something that's long, at least longer than your train, so it doesn't already be tilting forward. I'm gonna say this long is pretty good. Hold break, boom. So now you have two hold breaks. Oh my God, it tilts and it it, it tilts in Theme Park Tycoon 2. It's a it's a tilt coaster in Theme Park Tycoon 2. So then it will actually give the illusion of it. I'm just gonna make a small family friendly layout with this. Anyways here, boom, let me just test it to see if it makes it. You have the illusion of it's like tilts forward and drops you. That is actually so cool. Um. Anyways, yeah. So yeah, it's not. Yes, yeah, probably not. I, I for some reason I just I wanted to make the layout. I don't know why. But yeah, roll back. Okay. Anyways, yep. Now, 
I haven't tested it what it's like right now, but basically I put a bunch of smoke emitters at the bottom. I made the, the box all black so it's pitch black in here. Basically stops there, there's a smoke emitter over there so you can't see, and it's the smoke emitter is set to black. So you can't see anything there and when you go through the smoke emitter, it looks like when you go through the smoke emitter, it looks like, um, it looks like you're, you just like teleport to be facing down and like you kind of tilt downwards. So basically make it so it's com like, like, yeah, basically you go, you're in a box, right? It's in a big box. You go forward, you can see, right? There's a smoke emitter. Oh, I put my, I forgot to put my smoke emitter right there, right? You basically put it right, right where it goes down. So like it looks, it doesn't look like it goes down. It looks like it angles down and you drop down. You couldn't really see because there's no lights, but that's the point. It's meant to be dark. You can add some light sequencing, like the lights go off and then you angle down, they come back on and you drop. You can do that. That's what I was gonna do, but I didn't have time, sadly, today. Okay, click on this one. Make sure the, both the colors are completely set to black. And if you don't have this color thing in here, you can just set it to this one. I mean, this one right over here. This one right here, you can just set it to that, but I'll just use this and go there. And then here, the emitter power, uh, 250%. And, and then do that to the other one also. And then basically, you're all set. As you can see, I have smoke emitters here. So see, I made a hole for the coaster to go through. Right, but I had smoke emitters so you can't see out that hole. Okay, let's test this now. So now here we into the POV. So basically we start off the coaster, it goes forward, and then as we can see, there's, it looks like there's we can't go in front of us, right? Now it looks like here, right? It, does, it looks like we're not moving. It looks like the track's tilting though, doesn't it? It, it gave you the illusion. It gives you the illusion that the track's tilting and then you drop. It actually looks like the track is tilting if you do this all in the dark, just the way I did it right here. So now here, let me show you guys one more time. Um, basically here. So you go forward. As you can see, there's smoke emitters in front so you can't see anything past you. And right here you stop, right? It looks like there's no track in front of us, nothing. It looks like we're getting angled downwards. The track's moving downwards, and then we stop. And then it looks like, boom, we drop down and do that. That is the illusion. It looks so cool. It looks so cool. It works. So, um, hope you guys liked today's tutorial. And if you liked it, and hopefully you can get to use this tilt track or make your own tilt coaster in Geek Park Tycoon 2. Now this is just a tutorial coaster and there's no theming, nothing to it. And it's not meant for any theming or anything like that. But you can theme the building. And actually I encourage you to theme the building because if you don't theme the building it's kind of like eh. Anyways guys, make sure to like and subscribe because once we reach 175 subscribers I am going to be posting daily videos. Sometimes it could be a YouTube short. Sometimes it could be a, a YouTube short. Sometimes it could be a long tutorial like this. Sometimes it could be like um, just me building a coaster or me showing a coaster or something like that. And sometimes it can be something random or something like that. If you want daily content every day, but days I'm busy, I won't be able to put daily content. But besides that, I will. So if you want daily content, get this channel to 175 subscribers. And once we reach that goal, then I'll have daily content. All right. Um, see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Subscribe for a cookie. Goodbye.